to teach you how to make a chocolate chip loaf cake very simple ingredients you can just follow through just remember to maintain the measurements and follow the procedure step by step so the first thing we are going to do is to add up our butter our granulated sugar and like you know I teach you here how to do things from scratch so we're going to manually cream this you can decide to use a mixer but then if you have a paddle at home it wouldn't paddle like this you can just go ahead and cream and the creaming technique is such that you beat your butter against the sugar in a fast and consistent motion for those of you joining us for the first time until it is light colored light in weight and has a dropping consistency so to make sure that we achieve these three things we are going to be consistent in our direction we can decide to go uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise direction so we just continue in this fashion beating until this mixture is light colored and uh, fluffy and then it has a dropping consistency so let's see how that goes so you can see we've gone a long way from where we started you can see that the cream mixture is light colored and it's fluffy and it's ready for us to incorporate the other ingredients now what we have here we'll start by trying to combine together all the dry ingredients and then try to sit two to three times at least so I'm going to this is a corn flour I'm going to add it to the flour the all-purpose flour I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking powder like I always say use leveled measurements not heat full leveled measurements and the size is there so why do you think it is necessary for us to see more than once because we want a very light textured cake something very fluffy so we're gonna start by sieving i'm just putting it bit by bit in the seed so that I don't have it overflowing overflowing now what's the difference between all purpose flour and maybe um, self rising flour all purpose flour you can use it for any big goods you want to achieve but sometimes some recipe calls for a different kind of flow so it's very important that you use what is required per time so we're just saving for the first time and then we need to go a second time What happens when you are sieving is that the air around gets incorporated into your floor. So the more times you see, the more you incorporate air and the lighter it becomes. So let's go on to our third time and then get it over with. So our dried ingredients are sifted. So it's sifted now for the third time. We're going to incorporate into our cream mixture. Now, I've always talked about fresh eggs, it's very, very important. I always love to give some wicks to my eggs. So we just need two eggs here. I remember, always use fresh eggs. So, once we've gotten that wicks, pour 
toys in parts. We're trying to take time to make sure that we do this and everything goes well according to plans. So we're not just going to pour everything at, at a bowl. So like, as though you're putting just half a portion in and then you blend. The mixture is going to look a little cold at some point, but try to get it blended to a certain level before you start incorporating. Now, put this in parts. Three major parts. So let's do the first batch. Don't be too vigorous with your mixing. Why? Because we do not want to deflate the mixture. Now, if you're just coming on board, you have to see previous episodes of our season one. There's a lot to learn and so that you can really follow up on all that we are doing. So, first portion done. Second portion. Why are we doing this? We're trying to make sure that we still maintain the lightness of the texture. Now we still have some portion of our eggs. Pour that last portion. Beat it in. Now see this. Just see this. I'm folding in the remaining floor. Now folding in technique is a more detailed one. You can see I'm not being vigorous. I'm just being uh, particular. It's a gentle way of doing it. So once that is done, we now need to bring in the other ingredients. Okay, so now that we have gotten it to this point and we need to incorporate our other ingredients, let me just quickly clear up my space. Okay, so right here we have uh, vanilla essence. We have to add one teaspoon of that. You stir. You can use your all orange zest or lemon, just half of uh, a regular. Uh, orange or lemon I'll just put in about one tablespoon here maybe some you can always taste your butter to see if it has really really come in it's a very refreshing uh, taste you get from it and then you can add your raisins you could just sprinkle it in This is going to be one very tasty, tasty loaf cake. This is about three tablespoons. Our chocolate chip. We need three tablespoons of that. I'll put two first and I sprinkle the others, the, the last one on the finishing. So we just bring it together. This time we're just trying to make sure we incorporate it. We're not really trying to beat or anything like that. Wow. Hmm. The aroma is coming up already. 
Okay, now that we have that, we we'll need to prepare our loaf pan. Now we have the metal ones and these ones are just foils. We can just grease and put our parchment paper, that's our baking sheet, and then we pour this into it. So let's go ahead to see how that is done. Okay, so yeah, we have our loaf pans, right? And I've taken the liberty to grease it, grease it, and I'm lining it with baking paper, a baking sheet, just so it covers the sides and the, especially the bottom, especially the bottom. So I'm going to put in my butter now. Now it's ideal that you have your oven preheated for at least 10 to 15 minutes and then you're good to go. So I'm going to put this in. Do not just overfill, uh, overfill. Give some space for rising. We have a little more and I'm going to put it in this remaining loaf. Let's see how that turns out. I feel like some of this can still go in here. Ideally, if you have a nine inch loaf pan that is about three inches wide, it would just be ideal for this quantity of butter. So remember the remaining parts of the chocolate chip. I just want to sprinkle on top. Now our oven is preheating, so everything should be nice and ready for us to pop it into this oven. You can see that it has been quite simple. Let's go ahead and put it in the oven, shall we? So it's been an awesome time on Baking Your Memory Season 2 and we are rolling out to the season finale on the 29th of July 2022. We're having a guest, a chief consultant of Make Month Limited, Mr. May Putami Dapa on the show. It's gonna be an exciting and awesome time together. So please do not fail to watch that show and we really thank you for staying with us so far. Making fun of a case and event that has come to stay for Boutiques Nigeria. So you don't have to miss the third edition coming up on the 20th of August, 2022. You have seen how exciting it was with the children and the last this last time so please do not miss out on it you have to reserve your seats by sending the name sex age and school of your child to the numbers displayed below so thank you okay so wow uh chocolate chip loaf is out of the oven look at how it looks wonderful right we've allowed it to cool a bit and then we can just take it out from the loaf pan just nod it a bit, but you should just you should be able to just come out neatly because you know uh, we lined it. Hmm. Wow, look at that! And you take out your lining sheets. Then you can turn the other way. Now I'm going to slice it. Now you can serve this sliced. This is something you want to try with friends so that you can have a fun time. Wow, can you see, can you just see? Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't wait. You know, you can have this sliced and serve with friends. So let me try this out. Can you see? the chocolate chip the fruits all of that so until next time on baking your memories i'm your amiable host after we don't know the cooks in nigeria ciao